Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. To their mutual dismay, Sloane Peterson revealed Nicole's poorly kept secret on today's episode of Days of Our Lives. Jada and Rafer learned the truth about Colin, who then significantly increased his retaliation plan, while Melinda Trask attempted to stir up controversy but failed. Let's now examine what occurred in more detail. Sloane called Colin and left a I love you message on his answering machine, figuring that Eric, Greg Vaughan, would take his sweet time getting ready. Eric was curious to know who his girlfriend was making love to when he got out of the shower described earlier and accidentally overheard. Eric was astonished to hear what Sloane had to say. It had been a long time since she had spoken of her younger brother. He had no idea that they were still in touch in truth. The impact of their parents' deaths on Colin's sensitive nature was then lamented by Sloane. Even though Sloane was entirely thrown off course by the loss, Colin's sadness and rage completely overcame him to the point that he could hardly function. For this reason, the loss had actually been harder for him and had altered him. Such statements led Eric to suggest that maybe Colin was after Paulina and Channel, Raven Bowens, but Sloane wasn't too happy with the idea. She was adamant that her brother was not just unconnected to those crimes, but also far away from Salem. Eric apologized for his false charge, and when they had made up, they went to a bed nearby to enjoy some morning pleasure. The afterglow was shortly broken by a loud alarm coming from Sloane's phone, reminding her to use some of her running out of birth control pills. Did Eric and Nicole, Ariane Zucker, employ any form of contraception the night they slept together to speak of protection against pregnancy? Sloane was relieved when Eric revealed that Nicole had been given an early menopause diagnosis, even though he didn't completely respond to the probing inquiry. That sad, old thing, Sloane thought Nicole, meantime, began her day with a pretty candid conversation with Anna, Lean Hunley, who had come to check on her new friend's precarious health. Nicole complained that she should be more anxious about whether she would be able to take the child to term in the first place, rather than becoming more and more concerned about whether Eric or EJ was the father of her child. She has overwhelming disadvantages. Nicole had to explain to Anna how Holly was created via IVF and delivered by Chloe because Anna found that one difficult to understand in light of Holly. Anna admitted, I had no idea, which Nicole found hard to believe considering how everyone in Salem appears to be aware. Nicole's main concern was disappointing Eric by losing a baby who might be his, despite Anna's best efforts to assuage her anxiety with cliches and by highlighting the wonders of modern science. Anna began by reminding Nicole of the pregnancy dose and don'ts after making it obvious that she would be there for Nicole no matter what, including the need for a prenatal vitamin regimen and the avoidance of all forms of caffeine and alcohol. Nicole immediately took off towards the hospital and what should happen but that she would run into Sloane Peterson there. What else was there for Sloane Peterson to do than read Nicole's newly acquired prescription? What prenatal vitamins... Paulina, Abe, and Channel apologetically invite guest Melinda Trask inside the quite packed Carver residence. The DA had made the home visit to talk about rather delicate matters outside of City Hall, like removing Rafer as police commissioner and appointing Paulina. Why did Melinda do that? Rafe's utter failure to catch the insane Salem poisoner in court attitude and a desire to hire someone who can get the job done and isn't scared to selectively break a few regulations. To the letter, Paulina Price Carver. Abby fiercely disagreed and rallied all of his support for Rafe. Melinda scowled before leaving. And deadpanning, Paulina said, so much for my shiny new badge. Rafe comes to mind. Coven's room at the White Dove Motel was where he and Jada eventually met. Both of them were shocked to learn that Colin had made a fast exit. The dynamic duo stole the contents of an unattended trash can, lifted some fingerprints and DNA, and began cross-referencing all the local databases at their disposal after spotting the used razor lying on top of the other trash. However, no matches at all. Hold on, damn. because Colin is British, duh. 
they decided to check Scotland Yard's database after having a quick brainstorming session. Sure enough, they received a hit. In opposition to this, Colin pleaded with a visibly apprehensive Talia to continue carrying out their plan for her to seduce and kill Enamoured, unwitting Channel. Paulina and Abby's attendance had been sought by a representative from the health department. Despite herself, Talia agreed and made a beeline for Channel's house, nearly missing them. But surprise, surprise, it turned out to be Colin with a fake accent rather than a real government worker. According to Thursday's dun, Days dun, of Our Lives spoilers, Paulina and Abe are under pressure since Colin's plan puts them in grave risk. To catch this action-packed episode, be sure to tune in. Loved-up couple Paulina and Abe do their best to maintain their marital harmony. Sadly, Colin, Jasper Newman, is not going to allow it to happen. He intensifies his plan and doesn't give up on getting Paulina out. Abe and Paulina are in serious danger as a result of this turn of events. It's a dreadful turn of events, and once the drama begins, things might never be the same again. Colin wants Paulina to experience the worst of his rage and suffering, and it appears that he may succeed. Colin is unaware that it only takes one minor slip-up to call the police. Rafe and Jada are on the case and moving in quickly. It's all downhill for Colin after they discover this horrible guy's past. They should be able to stop him before he causes more harm. Talia attempts to keep Channel, Raven Bowens, happy and preoccupied while in bed at the same time. She literally charms her boss to death, and they spend the afternoon having sex in Channel's room. Will Talia actually carry out her complete seduction strategy, though? When the going gets tough, her conscience might win out. When Sloane accidentally ran into Nicole, Ariane Zucker, and discovered that she was taking pregnancy pills, she was rather startled. Will she assume the infant is Greg Vaughan's, Herrick's, child? Will she tell her man if such is the case? This can come as a real gut punch. Sloane loves having Eric by her side and is genuinely falling for him. If Nicole is carrying his child, their romance would be severely hampered. In the best-case scenario, they'll end up co-parenting with his ex. In the worst-case scenario, Eric will want to be a family guy. In case you missed it, Days of Our Lives featured some outstanding performances last week, and Soap Hub struggled to decide just who should receive Performer of the Week recognition. Join the discussion on our Facebook pages, peruse our Twitter feed, or keep an eye out for an update on our Instagram stories to learn more about what's happening on your favorite soap operas. I'll see you there. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.